Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing a new power tool. So let's get started. This saw is the Evolution F210 SMS. It's a multi-material sliding miter saw and it's aimed and priced pretty much at the DIY market. It comes with a three year warranty so it's good that they're obviously confident with their product. You get a saw in the pack which will cut wood, metal and plastic. Uh, but if you're wanting to cut stone or tile you'll need to purchase the optional blade, diamond blade for that. Uh, it would have been nice if that had been included in the box. Uh, the manual uh, is pretty good. As some people aren't used to building this sort of saw, I'll go through the build procedure now. So first up, screw in the bed locking knob and uh, there's a lever underneath which allows you to move the cutting bed to the various points uh, for uh, mitering. And it's that green lever just underneath there. There we go. Next up you'll need to attach the rails and the blade carriage. You'll need to loosen the sliding, uh, slide locking knob first and that's on the top there. And whilst you're about it screw in the bevel locking lever uh, just underneath and then slide the rails in and then once they're slid in there just tighten up that slide lock so they lock into place because you'll need them to be locked in to fit the blade carriage. Then grab the blade carriage and just simply push that back on and what you'll hear is a loud click and that's the locking pins locating into place. There's two plastic ends which should be out before you slide that on and if they're not just pull them out with a pair of needle and those pliers. And you'll see there just the green ends where those pins locate just there and they should be out into that carriage. The saw comes with a double-ended Allen hex key which was nice to see and uh, you'll need this to build the saw and make the adjustments as required. So next up you'll need to attach the side uh, plates for holding the material you're cutting. Just take the hex keys out, drop those plates into place and then uh, do them up tightly. You don't need to go too mad, the sides are made out of plastic. To fit the blade you'll need to take off the retaining bolt and um, that turns clockwise which is different to normal to uh, undo it and when you put the blade in you'll need to release that latch there just on the front to bring that guard up out of the way so you can get the blade in there. Now the blade is fitted with the blade turning towards the user and there is an arrow on the blade to show you that. Uh, then just um, locate that on the arbor there and then hold it in place. Then what you'll need to do is there's a locking plate which goes over the front and then hand tighten in the retaining bolt there and you'll need the Allen key once again to do that up fully. To be able to tighten it up properly there is a locking button just there on the top of the saw carriage so um, make sure you press that down to tighten it. The cable is retained by that little retainer there. Now this screw if you do that up too tight will strip the plastic that you're screwing it into so don't go too mad and that retainer forms part of the cable management. Make sure you leave a bit of slack to ensure that the uh, the saw head has got a full range of motion, motion there. Um, the cable does come with a clip on the end which is nice to be able to uh, keep the cable nice and tidy and you get two meters of cable. The material clamp can be fitted both sides. Uh, it's adjustable on the solid arm that slides in there and then obviously you've got height adjustment with the green knob uh, and that will go up fairly high so it will pretty much cater for most things that you need to clamp in place. Obviously that's the safest way to be holding material on the saw. A dust bag does come with the saw and so does uh, you can attach dust extraction to it as well. Uh, don't be expecting too much of the dust bag. I've never seen these work well on any saw but at least you do get it with it. And there are points to be able to screw the saw down to a table, but you can use the optional uh, table that Evolution do sell. When operating the saw, the blade won't drop until you press the locking lever out of the way, and then that enables the blade to uh, drop and cut. 
uh, and you've also got a locking pin there to prevent it from coming up and being used when it's being stored so little hands can't be getting up to mischief in your workshop on the bevel the bevel to get full 45 degrees there's also a sliding bolt to move out the way and um, you just see that there and then that will enable a full uh, motion of up to 45 degrees there's a sliding adjustable fence on the saw fence which I thought was quite handy and it does positively lock in place so once that little green uh, screw there screw bolt on the back is locked uh, that locks it firmly in place The table has positive mitre stops at 0, 15, 22 and a half, 30 and 45 degrees but you can adjust it to any point along the table and then use the locking knob just to lock that off. There's also a depth stop which is adjustable but if you do need to move it out of the way you know if you need to move it out of the way quickly just to get a quick deeper cut than the adjustment that you've set you can just flip that out of the way and the saw will drop fully into the bed there one thing to be aware of is that the material clamp may get in the way if you're doing a bevel cut so you'll need to move that to the other side of the saw to enable you getting a full range of motion with the bevel otherwise the carriage just hits it The fence at the back does come with uh, centimetre increments for measuring but to be honest I probably wouldn't ever use that and when you do set the saw up it is best to ensure the blade is true but it does give you options to be able to adjust that if need be so that's a good feature. You do also get a spare pair of brushes for the saw and it's good to see easy access and there is a red line laser which is on a separate switch on the top of the saw carriage. I had no problems cutting the various different types of material with the saw. This was a plastic section of decking, um, but cutting through timber with screws had no problem at all with the saw and it cut with ease. One thing I did like with this particular saw, and I think it was down to the design of the blade, is it didn't give off many or as many shavings, should I say, than my old saw, which seemed to just shower me in shavings every time I cut timber. Um, so uh, that was nice to see although as expected uh, you know don't expect that bag uh, the dust bag to be collecting all uh, the cuttings that come off it because it's just not going to happen one thing to be aware of with that red laser line is is that the blade thickness is obviously wider than the thickness of the laser and some beginners may get caught out with the fact that they cut on the line but it takes some of the material off of their timber or plastic or whatever that they may actually need it would have been nice to see a double line laser on that and also with the clamp you may need to be careful with soft woods because if you clamp them too hard they may actually press in overall i like the saw it's very versatile and it was about 50 pound cheaper than my saw that i bought 10 years ago which only cuts timber so if you'd like to buy your own saw, there's a link in the description below. Uh, I found this to be uh, pretty useful. I like the fact it was light, uh, certainly much lighter than the saw you see in the right-hand side corner there. Um, so uh, that's about it. This is the Evolution F210 SMS. There's a link in the description to be able to buy your own. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.
one last thing remember with these kind of products you're going to need to buy some protective equipment so please ensure you get yourself a good pair of safety glasses and a dust mask they are minimum stuff for this